It's the middle of August. We are deep in the biggest video game drought in history. And a new free to play game drops. Tower of Fantasy. Streamers were playing the game off the charts, but me, I was skeptical at first. News articles were coming out about how this game was a Geshin clone. Which was funny because I remember people saying Geshin was a Breath of the Wild clone. Then as numbers went up, they quickly switched to how the game was going to be the Geshin killer. So now, I had to see for myself. I started up the game and noticed people were onto something here. I had a pretty fun time playing the game and streamers were falling off like flies. But I was still going strong, pumping YouTube videos out left and right. But as I leveled, a seed started to take root in the back of my mind. It was as if the more I played, the more this seed began to spread. As I started getting into the higher levels of the game, it started to get less and less fun. The resources I needed to level weapons, matrices, and equipment is just insane. Not only that, but all of it costs gold, which you are going to run out of and have to waste precious vitality on space-time domains. To this day, I still have nightmares about booster frames. Now yes, I understand the game is a gotcha game and it needs to make money. You technically could drop a thousand for some dark crystals and speed things up, but that's not ideal for the average casual player. Which is why most YouTubers stress saving resources. But in turn, if you follow that advice too strongly, you are going to get demolished by enemies who become the very definition of bullet sponges. And even if you don't follow the advice, they are still going to turn into bullet sponges in the higher levels anyway. So basically, it just becomes a choice of how fast. Then one random day after finishing my dailies, the game started to crash after I closed it. As if closing it triggered the crash by default. Well, new games crash all the time. No big deal, you might think. But this particular crash was something more sinister this crash would also freeze and crash the entire PC. What? You heard me right. Quitting the game would crash the entire PC. It was like some futuristic horror movie. So, as us PC gamers do, we go searching for solutions. At first, it was hard to find people who were having the same problem. But if you go deeper, they are there. People who had the exact same problem during the first two weeks of the game's launch. To me, it almost looked as if someone was trying to suppress this information. So some people mentioned certain things you could do to prevent this. So I tried everything. I mean everything. Running as it meant, repairing, reinstalling, modifying the config files because of issues with DirectX 12, compatibility modes, disabling full screen optimizations, modifying the registry, allowing through the firewall. At one point I thought one of the things had actually fixed the game, but no, it just delayed the crash by a few minutes or doesn't crash until you shut down the PC. Yes, you would shut down the PC and if you played Tower of Fantasy during that session, the shutdown itself would crash, frozen in endless time. Imagine the people who shut down their PC and walked away. They probably come back in the morning only to realize the PC had been frozen on the shutdown screen all night. And what's funny is that this isn't even gameplay issues. It's like the game can't even interact with the hardware correctly. Enter Reddit and down the rabbit hole we go. And where do I even begin? We are going to start this story with vegetable Archer's post in the Tower of Fantasy subreddit. As you can see, they are having the same issues I'm having, but on their laptop. But if we go to the comments, oh boy, it's worse than I thought. Bippity Zop sheds some light and explains it has something to do with anti-cheat and links us to another post. Shadow Killer says it's a DPC 
watchdog violation and their post goes into great detail of what's going on but no solutions even though in the comments people are trying all types of tricks anyway they link us to Kira who confirms it is indeed the anti-cheat causing this problem tricks were also in the comments but this time some people were afraid of getting banned then we are linked to yet another post Faber 6 dropped an absolute bombshell of a post a workaround they went into such a deep dive that you literally almost have to be a software engineer to pull this off like props to them but this is not for the average player who just wants the game to work like it should not only that imagine you have a thousand dollar account and do this only to be in the next band wave insanity basically what i'm trying to say is that all of this combined over time made me lose interest in even trying to play the game i'm almost certain they are never gonna fix the leveling issues which makes sense but i hope they at least try to fix the hardware issues because there is no telling how many people dropped off from the game because their computers were crashing and if the goal is to make money, Tower of Fantasy is literally losing it.